Welcome back to Applied Bargaining Theory. I'm William Spaniel, and this lecture is on taking a car home with you before you buy it. Here is a play that car dealers will often use. You're unsure about it? Why don't you take the car home with you? Think it over. Maybe overnight. You can come back tomorrow and we'll hammer out the details then. Should you ever take a car dealer up on this offer? Well, it's unclear, but there's a reason that you shouldn't. Some people think that there's a psychological effect at play here. If you take a car home with you before you buy it, it might change the framing of the way you think about your decision. You're no longer trying to buy a car, but rather keep something that is, in theory, yours by virtue of the fact that you took it home. And that being the case, having the car go home with you might increase what you're willing to pay for the car, which is going to harm you when it comes to the negotiations. But then there's this second factor at play here. I just told you that there's this psychological effect. What if you're immune to it? After all, now that you know that it exists, you can be actively thinking about it and avoid having the framing of the negotiations change. And so if you're immune to it, why don't you just take the car home now? Isn't it fine? Well, again, there's something to be concerned about here. You don't want to signal weakness in negotiations. Even if you are immune, the dealer doesn't know that. And so by taking the car home, if the dealer believes that this is going to increase the amount that you're willing to pay for the car, it's going to make the dealer a little bit firmer in negotiations with you. And that's definitely going to affect you regardless of whether you are actually psychologically affected by taking the car home with you. So unless there is a reason that you need to take the car home, perhaps because you're not sure if it's going to fit in your garage or not, or something like that, you probably want to err on the side of caution here and not bring it home. If you want to learn more about how information affects bargaining, check out the lecture on the left by clicking on the annotation, Bargaining 101, Introduction to Uncertainty. And if you want to learn more about how uncertainty affects bargaining in general, check out Chapter 7 of Game Theory 101 Bargaining. You can find a link to that in the video description below.